Hey, how's it going guys? It is JT Judgment here. I hope you're all doing fantastic wherever you are watching this video. And as always guys, welcome back to the channel today for another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Legend review in the form of a new legend guys. We're going to be taking a look at a brand new legend in Ultimate Team this year in the form of the 88 rated Dutch left winger Mark Overmars. But guys, if any of you are looking to pick up some PSN codes, some Xbox codes or some cheap PC games, then I definitely recommend checking out cdkeys.co.uk. I will leave a link to those guys in the description below this video for any of you guys that are interested in checking them out. So stats wise with Overmars in this game, on the card he does have 94 pace which is definitely his best selling point, that is for damn sure. A lot of people who like pace in this game are going to be looking to try this card out in their teams and I'm hoping this review will help you guys decide whether or not to go out and buy the player for yourself. He also possesses 88 on the dribbling, 80 shooting, 78 on the passing, 66 on the physical and 47 on the defending you look at his in-game stats guys some of the best ones 96 acceleration 93 sprint speed 92 balance as well as 93 on the reactions he's got 85 ball control 89 dribbling 86 on the long shots and 84 on the curve to name a handful of his best in game stats guys so basically guys what did i think of overmars well i was really excited to get to use this guy because not only has he got a bucket load of pace guys he really does have a lot of pace 94 pace on the card that suits me perfectly guys i really like to get a lot of pace in my wingers and that is what overmars brings to the game but not only that guys he has got five star weak foot meaning that he should be able to finish very easily on both feet he's also left footed on the left hand side so me personally that means i can take a lot of long shots across the face of the goalkeeper and I like to do that in this game I score a lot of goals from doing that guys so all those together I was really looking forward to using this legend card in ultimate team but to be perfectly honest for you guys he really did disappoint me you know unfortunately Mark Overmars for me personally anyway guys was a massive disappointment he just did not live up to my expectations guys whatsoever now saying that guys he does have a couple of pluses which I'll go through first because I did find quite a few more weaknesses with this card compared to the strengths that I did find one of which is his pace you know he has got 94 pace on the card I did not have a problem whatsoever with his pace he felt like what 94 pace should feel like you know he was gone as soon as he hit his top sprint speed and he hit his top sprint speed fairly quickly guys so if you are thinking Mark Overmars for whatever reason is not going to feel like 94 pace then I'm here to settle your nerves guys because he felt like that for me his dribbling and ball control for me was fantastic as well guys it felt like 88 no more no less you using the left trigger right trigger dribble on the edge of the box or from about 20 yards or whatever to try and create space to launch a long shot it was creating space with this card wasn't the problem it was the long shots that was the problem which I'll get onto in just a second but to go back to his dribbling guys it felt like what 88 dribbling should feel like in my opinion so I had no problems there whatsoever and the final positive guys that I need to mention is his weak foot he is a player guys with five star weak foot so yeah you should really shouldn't have a problem with finishing inside the box at least with this card now it felt like a five star weak foot for me every single time he shot with his right foot it was always on target the problem is guys he just doesn't put the power behind the shots to challenge keepers enough to actually hit the back of the net as often as you would like you know so that moves me guys over to the weaknesses that I did find with this card and it's pretty much everything other than the things that I have mentioned now I do realize guys that this is not very high on the list of important areas with a player like Overmars but for reviewing purposes guys I want to get it in the review and I want to get everything covered I did try using up Mark Overmars as a striker for a few games trying to whip the ball in from across and to see if he could score me headers and stuff like that but he just wasn't getting the job done guys so aerial ability really isn't a really good thing with this card his strength for me was awful he was always getting bullied off the ball very 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 easily muscled off the ball 66 physical is a lie guys he felt what he felt like what like 40 maybe 30 or 40 physical would feel like he was extremely weak for me guys so definitely keep it in mind if you are thinking of buying him for yourself his passing for me was really really inconsistent as well guys he just kept giving the ball away constantly you know I would press to pass the ball to someone and he would always either over hit it 
or under hit it. When I would try and cross the ball in, he would always hit the ball way harder than I pressed for, guys. So bottom line, for 78 passing on the card, he was very, very, very disappointing in game, guys. Very disappointing. His positioning for me was awful as well, guys. He was just the sort of player that just was very, very lazy in game. You know, he was always waiting for me to pass the ball to him before making a run. He wasn't one of the players that would visibly make runs themselves, you know, and it was something that I noticed from game one. You know, in game, if you look at his in game stats, guys, he has an 88 attack position in stats and his work rates are high attacking and medium defensive now if i use a player with stats and work rates like that then i would honestly expect them to be in good positions regularly and make runs by themselves pretty regularly but over mars he, he just wasn't doing it for me guys you know i really really did have to work my socks off to try and score goals with this card and positioning you know it really did pull me back from being able to score more goals with this card and the other thing guys that i didn't like is his finishing and shooting in general i was just saying his positioning was holding me back from scoring as many goals that i would like to is finishing and shooting in general guys is just absolutely dreadful you know his finishing inside the box was incredibly inconsistent for me he was missing so many easy opportunities his shooting from outside the box was just bottom line absolutely useless guys i did manage to score i think it was one long shot with this card but that's because i came up against someone who i scored so many goals against the guy just gave up he was constantly rushing the goalkeeper out i saw my chance i thought i'd take a shot and it did actually hit the back of the neck guys so please don't think from that one goal that is shooting from a distance is actually decent take it from me guys i'm saying it right now is shooting just in general inside and outside the box absolutely dreadful so basically guys bottom line if you're looking for a player with just good pace dribbling and a decent weak foot then from my experience you've got a very very good player in Overmars. but if you want a player that has good shooting you want him to be in the right place at the right time you want him to be able to pass the ball well you want him to be able to cross the ball in pretty well as well if you want a player to have all those as well as pace dribbling and weak foot then Mark Overmars, he definitely isn't your guy, guys. You know, he really isn't the sort of player that I would recommend. Personally, I really didn't have any fun pretty much using this card. But that right there, guys, are my opinions. Please let me know yours in the comment section down below. I'd be very, very interested in hearing those. Drop a like, guys, on this video if you did enjoy and this video did help you decide whether or not to go out and buy the player for yourself. Subscribe today if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more FIFA 17 content to come pretty soon. And as always, guys, most importantly, please take care and I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.